100 dice. Welcome to the Stateless Codecast. This is the fourth video in our project series, nerddice.com. So in our previous video, we worked on trying to get our GitHub action set up for the project. Um, it was hard to get going with Postgres. Our solution was to create essentially a, a, a fake um, database.yaml config file that was like database.yaml.github actions. And we uh, had an action to copy that into place in our, um, so this was our GitHub action version. And then our main version here, we just copied that, um, that file into the location there. The other thing we wanna make sure that we get working is the testing. So we, we got a, a passing build, but there were uh, no tests. We don't have any real tests in our project yet. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna to try to set up some uh, some fake tests. We wanna test both the scenario of the test failing, which would fail the build and the test passing. So that's what we're gonna get going here. And then once we, we're gonna to continue to do the um, git commit amend and force push on this and then we'll wind up um, uh, once we've got things where we want them for this part of the build where we've got the test and all that then we'll um, kind of actually do our commit message and uh, move forward from there we'll delete kind of our our test where it's almost like scaffolding when we're building a building we're going to create some fake tests for the smoke test page and like an assert, essentially an assert the truth test as a like a model test probably and then we'll make sure that they both pass and fail as needed um, and that the um, particularly the application system test which requires a browser will work on the um, on the CI so let's get started we're going to go into our rails project and if we just do rails generate here it should give us a list of our available commands so we can do a system test here test so we've created our smoke test page test we'll just rename that from what not that it really matters but test system we'll just rename the file and then rename the class and then all right so just going to visit the root URL let's take a look at our we'll do control shift C here get our so we'll just assert select strong rails version colon here case needs to match, I'm pretty sure, version lowercase. All right, so let's see if we can get this running. Rails test system. error let's see here root URL isn't defined we'll just 
visit slash if we can. If they'll let us. Let's take a look at our error. So in our in our temp folder here, there'll be a screenshot of our failure. I'm gonna call this area no route matches get. Let's see if we have any routes. We'll do Rails routes. These are all our default routes. All right, we'll just we'll create a controller. terminal on here. Alright. Got a controller test. We've got our So we've got our smoke test controller here. Create an index action. Create an index view. world taxation is theft throw that in our index we'll go here to our smoke test page test Big routes. Try that on for size. We 
we've got a failure now because we're not we don't have the strong tag so we'll make it pass for a second here Doesn't match Rails version either. Make our text match. One more time. Make sure. So now we've got a passing test. Make sure Rubocop isn't angry with us. sorts of difficulty for our top level documentation comments which we really don't need in Rails. Let's go to our Rubocop config. Change this to a star. Do the same thing in controllers. Save it. And then put empty method definitions on that we're going to want to. This in find the nearest style empty. controllers now Rubocop is passing we will we're not gonna bother uh, we're just gonna get rid of our helper here because we're not gonna wind up ultimately doing anything with it anyway. Anything else? Smoke test controller we're keeping. Smoke test controller test. Smoke test page test. And we will have our test the truth method. Get our indentation right. And make sure 
fails when we assert false. It does. Let's see if Rubocop has gotten angry with us. It has not. All right, so I'll try to get the happy path version here. Let me run both of them together. All right, so we've got those both both suites passing we can do a git add dot here and then and you know edit Update the date on it. And we'll push to our remote, which should kick off a new action. It is, we'll pause and let that continue. So our system test, or our, that build and test with mini test uh, section of our action has been hanging now for like 17 minutes. So we're gonna try to uh, find another way around that. So uh, one of the things that, so by default, our application system test case is driven using Chrome. Let's see if we can make this headless Chrome. faster. Um, I still want to allow for non-headless use of this. Well, let's see what happens if we, if we still get a screenshot when we fail. So let me um, do our smoke test page test here. And we'll make this the price we pay for a civilized society. <laughs> All right, let's try that. Let's see if we get our screenshot still. So we've got a failure. Let's see if we still have our screenshot. Yep, so that still gives us screenshots. So I think we can just try that and see if that solves our driver problem here. We'll cancel this workflow. if we can. And we'll Oh, that will fail though. Well, let's let it fail. Yeah, we'll do a failure first. All right, so we'll pause and see how that one goes. All right, so this time the job finished and we have a failure. Let's see that failure. And it is a test failure, not an error. And it's the same one that we would receive in our normal 
thread there. So we'll we'll go and um, make that test pass. Sure that it passes here. And it does. So we shall force push and see if we have a passing build. All right, so we have a passing build here. Let's take a look at the build log. We have both our system test and our normal tests passing. All is happy. So let's take a look now at our commit on the branch. So GitHub workflows, we have that. You know, I don't like having this database.yaml um, dot GitHub actions in the actual config directory. I'm gonna move that. We'll do a git. V we'll create a new directory in that dot github directory. Got now that build overrides files where we will get move. And then we need to change that in our action to actually copy the file from the correct location. So if we go back over to main.yaml, that needs to now come from Right files. Let's see here. I want to make sure that that still works. anything else that we need to undo other than the files themselves. So we'll take a look at our status. And make sure that our build still passes, passes before we go in and remove things. Pause and let that complete. All right, so that also passed. So let's take a look at this latest commit and see what other changes we need to make here. The main file will continue to exist. We will rails d. 
I guess we'll just get our emblem. Index just need to remove the directory here. Just get rid of the entire directory. Use. Yep, that got rid of the whole thing. Okay, that's fine. Let's go back to our visual of the commit here. Config routes, we need to return to its previous state. config database so we'll leave that schema file because it's necessary and then our system test case we're okay there with those changes and then we want to get rid of those last two files routes make sure Rubocop still runs So that gives us what we want. We will now get commit amend s date equals now and write our actual commit message. So pause and write that. All right, we've got our commit message here. Let me make sure that I, it's not what I wanted to do. Don't have anything else open. We will save our commit message. Close the file. And we'll do another force push here. We'll take a look at our current commit. Make sure only the stuff we needed here the right file our workflow looking good our
RuboCop changes look good. Our empty schema that is no longer empty looks fine. And then our test case. Let's see if our action is still running here. Yeah, it's still running. We'll pause and let that finish. All right, so our most recent version of this is passed. We will now go into our branch here, create our pull requests. And see, we've got the green check mark on that commit. We've got a verified commit there. That's what we want. Go into the command line. Check out main. Oops. Merge. push, which should now is reflected there. Our issue still showing is open. Maybe we just need to wait a second here. Oh, is it rerunning the action? Oh, because it's the push to main. So we'll let that run. Makes sense. Hopefully that will pass. It would be sad if it didn't. Um, yeah, I actually want to make sure that that succeeds before I delete the remote. Well, no, because I already got it pushed. So. So we'll in and then delete our branch. We will pause and let that final push build work. All right, our push to main build passed. And change that I was closing things before and it didn't this time, but Close our issue. Go back to our, and our project issue is closed. Uh, we still, now that we've got a working uh, version of the um, coveralls, Oh, now we've got a working version of our GitHub action. We can do our coveralls and code climate setup as um, our next two sections here. Uh, we'll see whether we can knock them both out in the next video or whether we only achieve coveralls, but we'll stop there. Thanks for watching this stateless code video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. 
Check out our growing library of videos on our social media channels. Follow us at Stateless Code and Taxation is Theft.